Speaker TV. Hi, I'm Kate Peck and you're watching City Search. So we're day three now at Melbourne Spring Fashion Week. Um, we've got the lovely Kevin Murphy team working on the hair. I think my favourite look would have had to have been last night's show with the big hair. Um, and my favourite show would have had to have been the opening. I've got a new favourite designer and that would be Rachel Gilbert. Although I did enjoy walking down runway in the Ocean Bay. Well, I have to say the boys in their, uh, <laughs> the boys in their armour and underwear, wow! <laughs> my eyes were popping out of my head. White suede was really beautiful. I loved white suede, actually. It was really fresh and beautiful for spring. Um, all white, fresh, sexy, loved it. We had a lot of cut back shoulders. Uh, we had cape jackets, leather shorts, uh, laser cutting, stuff like that. I really liked the Batan Liano sequined patchwork dresses. I thought they were really fresh um, and inspiring and must-haves, very colourful. The printed jeans, <laughs> I think. I, I really like those. They're the black and white ones with the uh, neoprene uh, top, neoprene being wetsuit fabric. So I love denim. Denim's like my favourite. I really enjoy it. I like uh, tailoring the jeans and I like, I, I like tailoring generally anyway. I like clothes to flatter. Ours is a, a sort of modern nautical theme, I suppose. Um, the, the collection essentially is all about contrast and it's, it's contrasting fabrics, colours, textures. Probably the main trend for the season would be uh, 40s. So girls will be wearing like a softer sort of wave. They'll be a bit more dumb looking, so they won't be straightened. There's a new awkward sort of length, which is that sort of like awkward schoolgirl length. Um, and they're trends that'll flow through after all these micro trends. This uh, this this trend was um, the influence was uh, Josie and the Pussycats. And uh, you know, like Archie, like Veronica's here, and a bit uh, manga as well. So we want to go for that more cartoony, a bit 50s in the way that it's sort of you know up really really high, but sort of cartoony with sort of punk overtones. So that's that subversity, that subversity of colour. Uh, must have definitely pop colours, and I think even on the lips, like you know, I'm seeing a lot of um, natural faces, but really bright pop colour lips. I personally like a long, flowy, floaty. You know, like something that makes you have a spring in your step, so to speak, um, and loose fitting so it feels beautiful as the weather starts to warm up. Colour wise for men's I think maroon's a, a, a massive colour this year but a lot of earthy colours, oh, I'm wearing maroon pants but I didn't mean it like that, I think they're auburn really but um, a lot of earthy tones like a lot of like uh, rich oranges um, seem to be in so I'm more focused on colours than anything. Uh, in terms of singlets for summer, cut's going to be a bit lower so guys are going a little bit more uh, high fashion. Loving the sorbet and the sunrise colour, so um, anything that's got a bit of colour, loving the florals um, and clean white too. Uh, I think for this spring the everyday consumer should be looking at the colour to top up their wardrobe, uh, give it a few you know, pops of excitement and don't be scared of being outrageous. Speaker TV.